A.J. Reeves is scolding. Tell you, when it's senior night, this is the game you want as a senior. He's got nine threes in the last two games. Ed Cooley said in October, you will see the real A.J. Reeves this season. To the corner, it's Kaluma. I don't like Ryan Hawkins giving that ball up. You got the smallest guy on the floor guarding you. You have to turn and shoot over the top of Bynum. Creighton just one for nine from distance. Reeves again. That was a heat check. And I'm not sure Ed Cooley loved that shot, but he's got to understand why it went up. Yeah. Oh, Brenner, there's that aggressiveness mm -hmm. you've been talking about. You need it. You, you have to try to earn some respect with your back to the basket. We know what he does on the defensive end. He just has to help this team offensively just a little bit, and that'll alleviate a lot of stress. He had 19 and 7 at yeah. St. John's. Yeah, so, you know, he can play against smaller, faster teams. Just has to have that belief in his moves. And again, another young player for Greg McDermott. Watson responds. Yeah, it's just this team understands who they are. Providence, they share the basketball. 15 and 1 in this building. They know how to keep the crowd involved. Hawkins was fouled. And he will go in the line for a trio after the timeout. And this is what young fellas do. Trey Alexander from downtown got that feel. And then on the other end, the senior A.J. Reeves from deep. Providence is up by nine on Creighton late in this first half. And it's because the senior A.J. Reeves has stayed hot. He's nine for his last 14 from three. Yeah, they moved the ball really well. That was off of a 50-50 ball. Manaya dug out an offensive rebound. This one, Al Durham down on the baseline. Nice little brush screen from Forkler, and then just the straight pop out. Catches it. It's too late. And he is one of those guys that when he gets it going, he's hard to stop. He really is. That's when you want to make a guy put it on the floor and beat you inside the arc. Because when A.J. Reeves gets it going, and you see right there, he averages just under 10. And it's a, you know, this is his last game in this building. You want to leave it all out there. So I don't think we've seen the last of Mr. Reeves from downtown tonight. You said something right ahead of our timeout as Ryan Hawkins was fouled on a three. He has two more free throws left. You said Providence has a great understanding of who they are. Donnie, in 2022 college hoops, how do you as a group have an understanding of who you are? Well, one, you're you're old enough, you've been through a lot. When we talk about guys like Watson and, and Durham, each of those guys, this is their 149th game. This game, with their seniors, they played 799 combined games in college. So they know exactly where they've been and what they're trying to do stay out of each other's way they support one another they really care about each other and they know if a guy gets it going go back to him i just think this team understands again when nate watson's in that's where your bread is buttered paul brunner with two hands watson off the floor now crosswell horkler durham Manaya and Reeves for the Friars. They don't dip, John, when Watson's on the floor. There, there's really no slowing down what they do offensively because of what Ed Cooley runs. Durham. It's, it's motion offense that time. If they had to go downstairs to Croswell, he's there. And they really make you respect A.J. Reeves when he's making shots. Manaya because he can knock down shots. Horkler. 
Cooley says they have close to 200 set play calls. And Alexander trying to keep it alive. He gives it away. Numbers for the Friars. Horkler. Durham with the interception and into the stands. <laughs> I don't know. He's getting up slow. He's been dealing with pain all over his body. Sat for the Butler game last Sunday. I tell you, players are tough in this building, fans are tough. Look, no one's jumping out of the way. They're hanging in there. A lot of times fans will just get out of the way. They jump up. Providence fans, man, they're tough. They'll take the hit. <laughs> More importantly, they'll catch their players. Yeah. <laughs> they won't just take the hit if you're not one of the players. That's right. <laughs> There's Kaluma. Finger roll. Love to see Kaluma get some more touches. Well, it's an equal opportunity offense. Greg McDermott runs. You got to be able to step up and make plays. Durham with the right hand. I think he's okay. And, and if you're Creighton, it's just too easy. You know, there's there's no Nate Watson in the game, so you can sag off and help a little bit on that drive. The perimeter defense has to be better for Creighton. Got to stand the guy up and stop the ball. O'Connell, tough shot for Alex O'Connell. And sometimes that's how you're going to have to get your offense when you're on the road. Three guys around you, your own teammates, or two guys in a small space. Durham is fouled. Coming up on the Jeep Halftime Report, we'll have highlights from around the nation. Number six, Kentucky traveling to number 18, Arkansas. Number four, Purdue getting tested in East Lansing against Tom Izzo Spartans, plus Butler at Marquette. And we will have first half stats and analysis. Mike Hill is in L.A. with the Jeep Halftime Report. How about this for Al Durham? He's 37 for 39 from the line in the last five games. Yeah, that's a part of being a closer. You know, he's one of those guys that Ed Cooley, Ed Cooley talks about being his closer. Bynum has stepped up into that role lately. Al Durham knows how to finish. May not be knocking him down from three, but he knows how to get fouled, and he knows how to make free throws. Can't say that a lot about a lot of kids in college today. That they know how to make free throws late. The D. Marshall Summer Clinic in that yeah, area is going to happen. We, I can see it. We talk about the lost art of, uh, of the different parts of the game. To me, the free throw shooting is a lost art. Yeah. Not enough time spent at that foul line. Seven on the shot clock here. Andrew Nikashvili with the fake. Just under two seconds between shot and game clock, and Ed Cooley will use his timeout. Yeah, I love it. In control. We will take one, two. See what the Friars doctor up offensively out of this T.O.